Hello everybody, um, this is the Season 3 Play-Ins. Um, I decided to not stream it live, uh, other, people, other people streamed it, and uh, I decided just to do the replay. So, um, because you know, like, th there was the possibility of maybe somebody accusing people of coaching and stuff, and I just thought, let's not take any chances. And also, like, I get to concentrate more, right? There's no there's no thinking about looking at chat or anything. I was able to completely focus and pay attention because there is $5,000 worth of prizes in this tournament. I'll put all the links to it underneath, but um, it's just Manager 1 and Manager 2 here, but uh, it's my Dwarves here with 5 Guard and a Mighty Blow up against Mr. Page with... A, uh, on dwarves obviously he's got underworld with a couple of wrestle clan rats block thrower a two heads gutter juggernaut roger and then this tackle which is obviously doing nothing so he actually on oh, a dirty player he doesn't actually have that many skills right um they were, they were tier two so they did get uh an extra extra skills but it, it, well, it I, I didn't think his build was that good but like it's still underworld right so it's still a decent build i think it could have been a better build but it was pretty standard now uh, he won the toss and chose to kick in a blizzard which it, it's interesting because like it obviously makes my offense harder and my offense is already hard so like there's a good argument for making that harder right but the problem is it makes his one turn hard as well right so it's it's six and two threes a little bit because it's making it's making my offense harder with his one turn. I make a slight mistake here. This is my uh, setup. I should have put these one across right. If he gets a blitz, he gets to blitz this guy and pile through. So the this guy should have been one over. That was a re real bad mistake. There was there was no reason for these to be. I like I think I thought of it and then just didn't do it. So that that was really bad. These should have been one out. Um, but you know because these can all sidestep and everything. So that. Position doesn't really matter. I thought Mighty Blow was most protected against getting nailed by the Roger. Um, so yeah, I wanted, I wanted these two one out. A really, really terrible setup there. <laughs> terrible setup. Um, doing that. He only gets one extra snotling on the pitch, which is quite nice. And then it's changing weather. So uh, so it's changing weather for an extra, an extra um, bounce, which then bounces at the Blitzer who catches it. And again, then I realise, why is he totally exposed? Um, so one thing to talk about here is um, Mr. Page is set up on the LOS. I much prefer putting goblins on the LOS because goblins are worse than snotlings and they're a bit more likely to survive. So, you know, like if you just lose three snotlings instantly, it's pretty terrible. So, um, so yeah, I think you probably should have put goblins on the LOS. Maybe even like two goblins and a, and a clan rat or something, but, uh, you know, wrestle to like defensive, but... Whatever it was, it's like putting three snotlings on the OLS here is very dangerous, right? I might just instantly remove three for the whole game. Obviously, he knows he's playing me, so that's not going to happen. But uh, the potential was there. <laughs> the potential was there. So here we go. We get a KO. And another knockdown. And another KO. Just a push, and he obviously sized up the correct square, so I only get to hit him with uh, with block. I probably mispositioned this guy right. He could have been one over, and then he he would have been the exposed one. At the moment, I've left the guard exposed, so the guard should have been tucked in with this guy forward. So a slight mistake there, and, I, and then I took this guard in here. So this this guy's exposed, and this guy doesn't look exposed, but he actually is. It's it's not a three D from the gutter, but he is exposed. Um, but it looks like he's going for this guy anyway, so that's good. That's good that he goes for this exposed guy anyway, but obviously bad that he's going to get a massive gang foul. He gets a big foul in, breaks AV, but uh, that's all, because they are thick skull and it's armor 9, so they're not easy to remove. We had two KOs instantly, so obviously we're going to mighty blow this snotling here. 
instant, instant 90 blow blitz on the heart on the snotling. Three dice, KO him. So you know, three KOs is pretty good, right? That puts him down to nine players pretty quickly. Uh, pile in a bit here. Don't want to pile in too heavily. Uh, you know, just let him 2D all right down the line. I quite like this kind of, a, you know, kind of a corner formation so that they can't... If I'd put a line, he could have blitzed this guy and then blocked this guy. Whereas now to blitz this guy, it's a bit hard. I made it a bit harder to blitz the edge guy. Like, he can still do it, but it's a bit harder to blitz the edge guy now. Um, and I was thinking about that, but then Pidge did quite a smart move here. Comes around with a, with a roger to try and chain things. Pretty interesting. Oh, hello, Inarian. I think that's Inarian. I think that's normally how Inarian says hello. Yep. <laughs> so he gets loads of blocks here. Finally gets the pile. But, you know, he could have got, like, a mega foul, couldn't he? And he gets a decent foul. But, again, doesn't do a lot, right? Like... The, the fouling strat is not so good against dwarves. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to let him foul me until he gets sent off, and hope that you know, hope that he does get sent off eventually. Um, and yeah, to, to, but to do his clever play, he had to expose his gutter. So there's an argument for making GFI to hit with uh, mighty blow here, but of course I want to blitz with guard um, so that I can get the 2D hit on the roger as well. Pow his gutter runner here. Gutter runner exposed on turn three of defense is not a good scat not a good sign for uh, as far as underworld defenses go. But here I get a bit greedy. I put the mighty blow on him. And really what I should have done was not the, these two players should have probably been like here and here, and I should have just had a safe cage here, yeah? That's what I should have done. I engaged here to protect him a little bit and then wanted to threaten him with a mighty blow. But uh, what I should have done was these two players could have been here and here and I could have had the ball in a completely safe cage. And then I did it and I immediately thought, oh my God, he can like one day, you know, he can one day here and then he can one day here and he can one day here. And then I noticed this guy and, and I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> he can chain the roger and... You know, it's there's all sorts of terrible things. You could have had 2D on the ball with Wrestle. You could have had a Rogue on the ball. So this was just all kinds of terrible for me here. I absolutely should have. Um, I absolutely should have just not engaged. I got a bit greedy trying to get cause damage because you know at the end of the day, he's down to nine players. I can cause damage. I think. Look, if the way Page is going to win is by out damaging me, I have to try and get the upper hand in the damage battle. And I know it's it sounds silly, right? Underworld out damaging dwarves, but they totally can. So I thought I've really got to really got to try heavily here to to win this fight. And Glorious. also I got forward, right? No, I got, I won't I got give two me. squares further forward. Until I'm victorious. What I'm doing here, and I kept and I will my players closer together. I will defend. I want to keep my players close together, and I want to push up, and I want to exert threats on his team thank you very much in nari and staying fantastic. Jimmy, fantastic shit at this game. eight glorious months so while i wanted to do all of these things um i i i, I it was too lax it was too lax uh, i could have maybe have been one forward and then one this guy back but whatever it was it, it wasn't good enough and uh yeah i mean it's just so easy to do this chain like i mean you could have chained you could have chained it in multiple ways i think but um, he gets a one day here and a one day here. But I mean, he, he could have done multiple things. He could have got two D on the ball with wrestling. I'm pretty sure. And uh, there he gets the roll blitz. This is a two into a one, and he does he does uh, stun his own guy. But he gets a power on the first hit. Which, to be fair, you know, his rogue is surrounded, but, like, that wasn't my intention, right? I just got lucky there. Uh, looks like he had to use a reroll there. Chains himself on the ball. Could get a good scatter. Doesn't get a good scatter. It's in two tackle zones. Runs around. Gets the f gets the uh, five-plus pickup. Uh, but doesn't really get away. So, you know, I need to pow here. Get, the p get two skulls. Get the pow. Uh, I think I don't want to follow up because obviously the ball could go in the crowd and I don't want to be further up over there than I need to be. 
And also, you know, I don't want I just don't really particularly want to be close to the sideline. You can be my wingman anytime. Oh wow. The great Canors. You can be mine. Thank you very much, Cano. Massive raid. Absolutely glorious. Uh, yeah, so this is the replay analysis of my game earlier today in the Season 3 playoffs versus Mr. Page. Um, the, the new replay system is quite good. You can skip ahead with turns and actions and stuff. It is actually pretty good. It is pretty rapid, though. So, like, pausing and uh, rewinding and stuff has to be used sometimes. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is uh, Mr. Page. He's lost one, two, three, four, five players here, but only to KOs. And he only started one player up, so he is down to like seven players. He's in a bit of a pickle. He, he had popped the ball loose with a nice chain push on his Roger. Here I get an extra hit on, on the Roger, though, which was good. I enjoyed this little play here. Got the pow in. Of course, didn't break AV. Um, don't knock him over. <laughs> Don't knock him over again. Um, I nearly, I nearly dodged this guy mis by mistakes. I didn't notice this guy. So then managed to change it to just a stand up. Had to uh, cover the backside a little bit there, and then run back. He actually had it. He had a chance of hitting the ball here, right? He's got, he's got wrestled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI, two, two. 3-3-2-2, three, three, two, two. he's got three re-rolls, he could have run around, he could have also um, cancelled the assist in here and then put me on the sideline, maybe get a scatter into the crowd, got a free, so this was this was a pretty scary ball hit that I thought he might have gone with, and of course he could have gone, uh, could have run around with this guy as well, so he could have made it a 2D, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI, so he, you know from for threes and twos he could have got a 2D on the ball with Wrestle, so... You know, this was this wasn't ideal, but um, again, I was forced to stand here. I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand anywhere else. So, well, not without rolling dice, I could have tried to GFI, but I wasn't about to do that. But he decides to go against that, just starts going for damage. <laughs> I did not gloss over it. I I made full full recognition of the uh, of the lax cage. He stands up to Roger at the cost of a stun. He gets a big Kaz, huge Kaz, but it's only a badly hurt, so I pull that instantly. Um, I didn't, I didn't think about the decision. I just spent a bit of time to make sure I didn't misclick. <laughs> but yeah, so in, but he has exposed the uh, gutter runner here to. Uh, so I could have just mighty blow blitzed him right, but I think I'd rather chain him back into the into the hit here, and then I can blitz upfield because even though he's down to very few another double one on the AV roll, even though he's down to very few players, I really do want to get moving right. I'm dwarves, I'm slow. He's got wrestle players that can sack the ball maybe if he if he tries for it. So um, I was a little bit concerned. About getting up the field. Now we go off this this second column here, which is obviously not ideal to stand in. And I tried to protect like the roger blitz here, because obviously you could have roger blitzed and fouled. So I want to um, I want to prevent the ogre blitz and foul, basically. Is all I was really thinking there. But he does get to knock all three of these players down. So it wasn't it wasn't great <laughs> by me because he do, he does get to just knock all these guys down and foul anyway. So uh, yep, yeah, that wasn't and he gets to foul the guard as well. So yeah, not great. And he breaks AV again, but again, you know, it's it's hard for him to remove, right? He's made a Kaz from the fouling. He's got away with them all as well. Um, so right, what turns is turn six. So now again, it's it's annoying, right? Because even though he's he's just down here fighting, not really caring about the ball, I have to care about the ball because he's got to wrestle a guy and he can just roll some dice. And if he rolls the dice, he's got a gutter ready to react. But uh, we do get three dice the gutter runner this turn, which is which is quite good. <laughs> yes, this time too. So now, of course, I uh, I just focus on my cage being in a good spot so that I can three dice him with mighty blow. Completely worth the re-roll here to expend, obviously. 
And this way I still can maybe fight him right now. This is maybe tempting him, tempting him into fighting me. And I kind of want him to fight me so that I can get hits back on him. And uh, the, the, the armor is broken because of Mighty Blow. But no. No removal. Obviously removing the gutter run is key for the one turn, isn't it? I desperately want to remove the gutter. But the good thing about the stun is I get to foul next turn, potentially. He gets to hit, he gets to nail my mighty blow. Another stun, he's made, he's made a lot of stuns on dwarves. And I obviously he's been fouling with Dirty Player a lot, but even from the blocks he's, he's made a fair few stuns. But, you know, obviously he's down so many players, they're not making a difference, really. Uh, and the stun there was annoying because obviously I would have loved to have just jumped up and hit the uh, hit the rogue with mighty blows. So that was that was a, a, a bit of an annoying stun here. Now I run away. There's uh, I do have him covering. I didn't need him covering. I could have moved him first, but there was no real good place that I could have moved him to. So I thought let's just try to mitigate complete disaster and move him to the field. Only a one D there and KO him with a one D. Incredible. And then get the three assists in and double GFI to foul him because, you know, I have to. I have to. He's a, he's a good runner. He can win the game by himself. And only a stun. And then he 1DBs. Does nothing. The good was pretty invincible, yeah. So now I've got to make three dice blocks here. Good play, optimal play. Lots of people lazily just make two Ds. Elbow play. Oh, hello. Who's who's this fella? A fellow round two winners by it. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, share by spoiling. <laughs> Am I spoiling? Are you doing a YouTube video? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's uh, only the game's still in the balance. You know, who could possibly say who will win? <laughs> oh, thanks, Elliot. Don't worry. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> when I say fellow, I was talking to uh, one of those people in chat. Yeah. So there you go. So, um, you know, block the guys, get the three Ds in, get the score done. And now we've got the Underworld one turn. The Roger stays out. Wonderful. That 1D, that 1D block that I did um, turned out to be amazing getting the KO in the Roger because, you know... We know, we all know Mr. Page, don't we? He is a he is a chaos player primarily. He is not a one turning specialist by Ooh. any stretch of the animation. So, yeah, Ro Rogar is massive here. Let lets you do the, the the second line, the second row defense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have sidestep on his gutter. He hasn't stacked sidestep on his gutter. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sidestep seems so good. Yeah. So I was pretty confident that this was going to be tricky for him. Um, and then I get a blitz, and now this is Ooh. interesting here. This is interesting here because <laughs> I could have blitzed him from here to just push him right, to, and I didn't. I just, I just didn't oh. read the board. I just literally oh, didn't read the board, did. and I'm like, oh. I, have to, I have to hit with mighty. Mistakes were made. Yeah, <laughs> I have, but I'm gonna hit with mighty blow though, right? Oh, I see. well, uh, well, honestly, it's a shame. Like, if if I think if you can use a reroll, that's like 100 percent the play. Without a reroll, it's maybe slightly dodgy, but still, mm. honestly, it's probably it's probably it's probably the right play, right? It's probably the right play because you think you should, you're making it really difficult for him anyway, right? Yeah. So, even, yeah. If he, even if he gets pushed, so. Yeah, so I think if it's core, I, 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 it's probably correct to blitz from this angle. <laughs> but I think with Mr. Page, look, the mighty blow, it's probably going to be good enough, right? I think with most people, it's probably going to be good enough. If it's the best one-turner in the world, maybe maybe you push him back. But I didn't even think of just pushing him back. I just thought, mighty blow, smash! <laughs> 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 I might not have seen the snotling. In my defense, I might not have seen the snotling. Yeah, I just thought I was yeah, gonna push yeah. him, But I just didn't, I didn't really care. I just thought, mighty blow, smash. Like, you know, I, just, I totally just thought, mighty blow, smash. Oh, and then we pushed him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't get the power. Uh, you know, it was a seventy-five percent power, wasn't it? Um, ooh, wow. I thought I thought the blitz would shut it down, but um, this is probably not shut down, is it? No, I, I'm pretty. I mean, it's sure. definitely not shut down. Yeah, you yeah. just blitz the long bit on the right, can't you? Might have to do a snotling hit for the second hit, but you can do it. So what? Four plus. Four plus. Oh, it is stodge. a four plus. But you could you could put a snotling round to fill right. Or um, yeah, you probably can. You can but probably all through, all through tackle. Uh, well, no, it's only one dodge right through tackle. Or, well, I guess it's GFI, so the same thing, yeah. yeah. But he's got three rerolls, right? Lots of two pluses is the way yeah. to go. And then you would blitz here. 
with this wrestle guy would come round blitz. And yeah, then... you'd have to fill the two squares next to the gutter as well first. Yeah, it's 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 getting it's getting it's getting a bit tricky, isn't it? It's getting a bit yeah, tricky. Yeah, it's it's doable though. It's one of them. Doable. Yeah, and he, you know he's got his time bank, so he could have spent like all of his time bank on trying to do this one turn. But Mister Page is not the fastest player in the world, right? So he makes the five plus hand off. By the way. Yeah, this is good. This is like great way to start. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Oh, so yeah, he's going for it then. Yeah, yeah. and then he double won. He double won the GFI. Uh, so, yeah. well, well, I think that was absolutely the right thing he was going for. It looks like yeah, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, but nice. um, but yeah, I mean, it was definitely on somehow, right? Like, I don't know exactly yeah. how it was on or whatever, and I, I didn't think about it myself, right? I just thought, oh, this sure. is probably on, and, and didn't yeah. think too much more about it than that, and thought, why was I? I'm such an idiot not pushing him back <laughs> to square. Um. So yes, this is my anti frenzy defense. Like it's not yeah. perfect, right? It, yeah, it is exposing this guy and this guy to getting hit, and also the ones behind are less so, right? Because then he's going into no man's land. But um, it means that if he blitzes these corner guys, he is getting hit back. Whatever yep. happens. So I was pretty happy with this setup. Uh, yeah, it's exactly the kind of setup I do in these situations. Nice. Yeah, I think it's much better than Art's defense, by the way. <laughs> Artemis puts this player here and this player here, but then that means you can you can isolate the corner guy. Yeah. This player stops that. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Yeah. So this time he gets the sw he gets three swarming. So after beating him up for an entire <laughs> half of good ball with with block and tackle on every player <laughs> and a mighty blow. I've done nothing, you know. He's sent off his own. His own player's been sent. Like he, he removed his own player. There's no cars. All those kills, they've all come back. And he swarmed three snotlings. He's got 14 players for the second half. I'm not 14, the happiest. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. 14 players. I'm like, I'm not the One, happiest two, bunny three, in the world. Flip right me. Now. It's a lot of players, man. Yeah, you, you've uh, and and yeah. I mean, we'll we'll, we'll see how his page plays it now. But for, for for me right now, I'm thinking, yeah, I'll just stack this out right to. Yeah. To make it one-one, which is kind of a shame. Like you know, you, you're feeling like you want to try and go for the win, I guess. But yeah, you, you just have to take it over time, I think. Yeah. Well, Mr. Page is is obviously going for the going for the banging. Uh huh. Oh. And he sets this up to stop the uh, the frenzy trap, which is. Which is better yeah. than a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking at you, necro coaches. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he only gets but, a two assist foul, right? So it's probably not worth fouling him. Yeah. Because Matt, if he if he got like tried for a three assist foul, I'd have got a defensive guard assist, wouldn't I? So yeah, yeah. This is pick up. I thought it failed. It's crazy the show hands animation, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But he gets the armor break again, another stun. But we have mighty blow on the roger. Oh. What? Yeah, guard works defensively for fouls as well. Yeah. Mm. It's a glorious two D on the roger. And injured, and he doesn't have an apple with the build. Or he'd oh, used it no, earlier. Whoa, no Apo. Oh. I don't know which one it was, but I don't... I think he had an Apo, right? He must have done. Yeah, yeah. he used his Apo sources, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he must have done. I remember doing it and thinking... <laughs> oh, he knocked out his Blitzer with the... Uh... With the oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> justice, justice for Shit animal head savagery. Yeah. <laughs> animal savagery, good. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't understand it. I was like, "How has he got no apple?" I'd literally not. I'd totally missed him using the apple. We've got double GFI pass here. So obviously, he was willing to throw in rerolls there because you know yeah. the three plus pass would have probably yeah. Probably a bit safer in a way, right? Like, but uh, he terrifying thing about the feeblers is well, I, either the inaccurate or the uh, well, I say that. Hang on, you you not which one will it be? It'll be the uh, one the inaccurate, right? I guess you. Oh, I'm so confused. Can you get? You can only get one of them, can't you? Because the one's a fumble. Yes. The one must be a fumble. So I think the two. It's a modified one, right? Yes. So it's an wildly inaccurate, I believe. Yes, it'd be one fumble, two wildly, three accurate. Yeah, yeah. So 
So you would definitely just re-roll both, right? You wouldn't just accept the fumble for fear of a wildly inaccurate. So, so you know, it's yeah. pretty. I mean, pretty likely, but but you know, he was willing to use his uh, re-rolls, obviously, to yeah, to, like obviously higher odds, but wouldn't want to use a re-roll there. But uh, he he went for it anyway and did the GFI. So now he's like totally totally safe from getting punched. I've just realised why he had all the cheerleaders, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, because you get because you get them on the sideline. Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, that's way better. Oh, <laughs> that's actually good. it's a pretty good. It's a pretty good motivation, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's great, isn't it? Yeah, where are all the idiots taking assistant coaches? Yeah. You don't even see. You yeah. don't see them. Oh, do you see them? Oh, yeah, he's got you, little you see, you see them. Yeah, yeah. But they don't do the like the dancing and stuff. So. Oh yeah, he's got two little goblins, <laughs> and I've got one little goblin. And then, uh, yeah, he's got he's got the actual cheerleaders, <laughs> amazing underworld cheerleaders. Um, so yeah, so here I can't I can't chain or anything, right? And I can't I can't hit the ball, so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna try and get back as best I can. Nothing too uh, nothing too exciting. There's no there's no chains or anything I can do, is there? To uh, to do anything? No, I'm just gonna. Just gonna punch stuff and try to get back to pressure the score. So yeah, pr pretty weird, right? He got out of range, but I mean, he's, he's yeah, he's committed himself to scoring quickly, hasn't he? He is, he is. Not what I would have done. Yeah, on a hiding to a two-one, you'd imagine. Hmm. That's two-one, two-one. Do all that to get a blitz, wait. Wait. But yeah, I mean, and, and this is the thing, though. This is why you dacker, right? Because the the dwarves are going to chew you up and spit you out with uh, block tackle blocks all the time. Uh, it's, it's just a nightmare, isn't it? So, like, I'm trying to do a conventional offense. Yeah, was, yeah. Was... Like, dwarves like the team to dacker against, really, is it? Especially as Underworld. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'm, I, I probably could have positioned a touch more aggressively, like, you know, put, could have put a guard in here and stuff, but I thought... I, I, I really wanted to prevent him stalling another turn. Like I don't want, I don't want to give myself one less turn to score, do I? So I thought, make sure I bring quite a fair bit back as much as much as I reasonably can, and hope he bangs it in. Which I think he's about to. He's gonna punch somebody first. And he bangs it in. So there you go. So he scores in three. That does give us the six turns to score back. Um, versus potentially 13 players. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, obviously, uh -huh, uh -huh. great removing the roller, of course. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's... It, all of a sudden, it really, like, rams home with the fact that it is a team of, like, shithead snotlings and rats and things. <laughs> like, it's like, I could just bulldoze these, really. <laughs> yeah. So, the hor horrifying kick here, by the Ooh, way. I, yeah, can't yeah. even try I can't try to pick it up this turn, and next turn it might go in the crowd. Man, this... if he'd got another couple of turns of stall, this would have been, like, real bad times. Yep. And also, I actually, this time I set up correctly. The first half of these were inside, but this time I set them up like, this is perfect anti-blitz defense, isn't it? Really, really good setup here against the blitz. I was very proud of myself this time, but the first half I didn't set up so well. <laughs> Dirty. Yeah. Iron, iron snots, by the way. Oh, disgusting. The only thing worse than when a rogue doesn't kill something on its own team is when you hit a snotling down and it doesn't die. Yeah. That one did. <laughs> oh, there we go, then. <laughs> <laughs> and now without a rogue, I can actually like, do the sidelines like this, can't I? Can yes, I... yeah, yeah. I, I, I was thinking, when you said perfect defense, I was like, well, you could have started off with the sidelines like that. <laughs> but, but then you give up on hits on the, all the snotlings, which you don't really want to do, do you? Yeah, exactly, yeah. You can't. It, it's, it's, that's so great if they put the, the, the LOS wide right. Like, if you put the snotlings a bit wider, you could have just done the columns right and yeah. got all three hits. Yeah, but but obviously, you can't, can't give the snotling hits up. Gets his, gets his wrestle blitz in, and this this wrestle is a bit a bit annoying, right? It actually is in scoring range. Yeah, and yeah. He yeah. just he just two pluses this guy through. There's a yeah, there's a of course, of course. It's a disgusting that. Yep. And he gets a one assist foul. I mean, he just really loved fouling dwarves, and he kept stunning yeah. them. To be fair. 
Yeah, fair. <laughs> I mean, Stunningham's pretty good. He does get sent off there. I'm ha happy because uh, Elliot's in the booth with me. Could have got an additional hit with this one, but I thought, no, nope, let's be sensible. Let's cool. just instantly three dice blitz. <laughs> yeah. And got stunned. So that really nice, that nice. means I don't have to foul him. <laughs> and maybe I go back a bit too far here. Like maybe I should have tried to yeah. keep a higher line. Because obviously I do have to score. Yeah, uh, my instinct is always just drop right back in, in situations like this. Yeah, yeah, I wanted, I want, I wanted to drop back a bit. Maybe he's actually just kept a bit of a higher line. I, I did think, and is that, as soon as I'd done it, I thought, you Fair. know, uh, these could have been two up, couldn't they? This guy could have been further out. It could have just didn't need to give up this much space. I thought, especially as I had this guy. Like I wanted to keep on both snotlings, right? So if I want to keep both snotlings, maybe I just needed a higher line to. Uh, uh -huh. Have a bit more, and maybe it's a bit wider as well, right? So I can try and swing the runner back to the middle. I want to swing the runner back to the middle. Keep my options open. But you know, he's still he's he's got a lot of players back, hasn't he? Like you know, he, he started off only started off with twelve on the pitch, and he's already down to eleven or no, I think he's down to ten. And another send off. Um, so that's lovely, isn't it? So you know, now he's he's removed two of his own players. And I had uh, I'd removed one, so now he's only on nine players. And then this is a lovely bit to do, isn't it? Being able to uh, being able to get if it had been a power, no, not a power, yeah, just there. I get I get to go in there, don't I? And get to really put a lot of players in. So I think I'm not caring too much about the ball protection this turn. So there might have been some kind of chain or whatever here, or an uphill. Um, there wasn't really a consideration Ooh. of foul at this point because I've there's officious ref not officious ref what's the uh... bias ref no um, the mm, the prayer under scrutiny yeah under scrutiny right yeah so oh, wait, uh, un, under oh yeah under scrutiny yeah so I will I will get sent off if I foul if I foul yeah. this gutter so that makes it a lot worse doesn't it. So so just put the tackle on him and then, you know, hope that doesn't... Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have even done that, but I thought, you know, if he rolls a one, he's got to re-roll it, right? Because he can't afford his gut to go down, so... It's hard at this point because I'm, like, balancing the fact that the score probably isn't that likely. Uh, uh, and then, sure. so, I, I want to conserve re-rolls for overtime, but then, on the other hand, overtime is really not that favourable, is it? I, like, I haven't actually removed... Well, he's removed... He's removed as many as I have... <laughs> I guess he is yeah. capped at ten at this point, but you know the gut is so fast that like it's dangerous, isn't it? Overtime is so dangerous. Yep, for sure, for sure. Like I'm, maybe I'm like seventy-five ish percent to win overtime, but certainly. yeah, maybe maybe like the thing is like they if they win the toss, if they want to, they can two turn and draw. If they don't, try and dagger it out. And, and if they lose the toss, they can one turn. So yeah. <laughs> they they got pretty you know decent chance to way. Yeah. There's a nice little turn here. He, he rolls all of the dice. I mean, you know, this is a lot of this is through tackle and <laughs> and uh, three pluses, but he does get everybody out except this guy. Um, but I mean, we've got a clear target right to uh, to blitz up the field here. I think. I think this guy is clearly the guy to go. I mean, there was a possibility to go with a goblin, but then I just thought I can't get enough with me, right? So I have to go for this guy. Yeah, fair enough. And maybe I should have put him directly forward, and then put my guard route to that side, and then fouled him. But again, I get sent off, so mm. I'm like, you know. Yeah, no, I don't think I would have done. Yeah, I think if I think if I'm not getting sent off there, maybe I maybe I do cage around him and foul him. Mm. Maybe. Because it's it's so much better, I think, to be more central, you know. Scary GFI, the first mm. GFI of the game there for me. Ooh. I've managed to roll few GFIs up to this point. And yeah, so now we're getting to the nitty gritty now, aren't we? That was turn fourteen. So next turn is the one before and you know, if he rolls some dice here and gets things in front, it's gonna be tricky. Um Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point I was I think it's like at the end of this turn, I was like, "Wow, Jimmy's got a lot of work to do here." He played a good turn here, I think. He played this really good turn. Yeah. I kind of like the reroll there; like it's a bit um, seems a bit spicy, but like he's got four euros and he's a massive um, underdog at the moment, so I think he's got to. Yeah. 
I think he's got to roll some dice. And I think he does well with it. I guess getting the tag in the screen is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's like, slight spoilers. <laughs> Yeah, so he puts another Hey look, he's made a screen! <laughs> yeah, puts another re-roll in, and yeah, there yeah, you go. He's yeah, got yeah. the screen. Makes all the dice with a snotling, so... Yeah, so this is... We can pause it here. Ah, that's terrible, isn't it? Let's not pause it there. <laughs> um, so, okay, so there's a Kaz. So if we, uh, if we pause it here... <laughs> it's pretty tricky, isn't it? It's pretty <laughs> tricky. So I think I've got to power the snotling, see what happens. The snotling? Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's the 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 something that's already been powered. Yes. I was like, what's not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I tried to pause it, but he he was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so, just confused. Uh, yeah. So we so we do power him. So that that's a start. And then I'm thinking, you know, blitz up here and, and sideline cage. And I'll be honest, I kind of forgot I was playing <laughs> against Underworld, but still had a goblin, a snotling, <laughs> and a two heads gutter runner. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like, what else could I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, double GFI all the way over here. But again, like, oh, yeah. then these guys have all got the GFI to screen. Yeah. And, and he's yeah. fast and he's got wrestle. Like, it, it just seemed, it seemed like I had, I had no choice but to, but to squash down this sideline. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, two, one, two, three, four, five. Could I cage with guard? Yeah, I, I, but then he's he's got. I mean, I don't have block. So here, I think I probably messed up here, right? Because I put him there instead of there. I don't know why I put him there. Instead of on the sideline. Yeah. Uh, no, no, sorry. What? My assist was on the sideline. Oh, sorry. Oh, the assist. I think meant the dead body, right? Okay. Yeah, and the dead body. I, I th but then this is the thing. I thought, you know, if I put him, I thought for a. So what happened was that I used a reroll here. I uh, mm. I rolled a push. And. Uh, I thought for so long about, like, I can't yeah. really... If I accept the push, then I'm playing for overtime with four rerolls versus two, and I just try and cause as much damage as I can for the rest of the half, right? Like, that's what I'm doing, right? If I, if I do that, I try to nail his gutter, you know. You know, I, can, I could have just nailed his gutter this turn, actually. <laughs> Mighty blow and, and already given up, so it's not as good to give up at this point. But yeah, I took a, I took a long while in rerolling this because I thought, do do I do I want to pound to the corner and then try and like make a base cage? You know, maybe use guard GFI, get loads of guard in. Um, do I you know what do I want to stand here? It was re I thought for ages about this. And it was really really hard turn. I, I probably went a minute or two into my time bank. It was really hard. And eventually I thought I'll just try and pound sideline cage and you know it probably was a bad idea. <laughs> All things <laughs> considered. Uh, so yeah, use the reroll, especially with this guy being here, right? If this, I think I was thinking of. I'll tell you why I didn't, why I didn't assist from. I could have assisted from here. Would have been the best, I think, because I, I always planned on this guy going one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI, right? I always planned on this guy coming through here after right. I powered him. So that means I couldn't have assisted from there, but I could have. This block could have assisted from here, and then this guy would have powered. So, um, so yeah, I did, I did, I did go in the wrong place there, and obviously this makes his surf a lot easier if I'd stuck. So if I'd gone, mm. ah, but then it would still made his surf easier. Yeah, anyway. yeah, so it would. Yeah, yeah. It's just hard, man, because like I just didn't yeah. think of the snotlings. Just like yeah, what, the snotling, yeah. just two so pluses easy. in, got a three yeah. pluses in, and then you just two d him. So like it was, it's so easy for him to just yep. surf me here, really yep, easy. Yep. yep. Yeah, he must have missed that. We, it's funny because in chat we went through probably the same thing you did when we we were like, well, Han Hancock was like, it's a three plus into up surface, and I thought he was talking about the gutter runner. So I was like, no, that's a four plus. <laughs> and, then, and, and so then I finally realised we talking about the goblin. It's like, oh yeah, you could just do the goblin in. And then it, then we, we were like talking about get, getting uh, assists in to 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 surf. Uh, 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 from, from in front, I think, with an assist in behind, right, dodging and surf, and and then we got to full all the squares and blitz the blitz of the surf. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, and that, yeah, I went pretty pretty much through that exact progression, yeah, yeah. just yeah. like, and it just you know, I mean, they're like the Skaven, yeah, the Skaven assist there, doesn't he? And then this Snotling could have gone one, two, three, four, five, GFI. and then the Goblin could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, like, what this guy could have dodged one, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI, and then you've got two D, 
and uh-huh. then push him and so so that was probably the best yeah yeah that was probably the best play there but again you know what what other option did i have like stand here and get instantly hit like yeah. it was so like it was a hard hard turn i uh, yeah in retrospect i cage i think but yeah it's yeah. brutal and like you say no block or anything and in retrospect, I mean, that, then he's like, then he's like, what one in four to get me with a yep. re-roll? He's yep. really high yep. odds to get the ball. But off like me. the the ball doesn't go off the pitch as likely with as high likelihood, right? Which is yeah. the, the crucial thing. So. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was tough though. And then how do I score after that as well? Like, because then I'm totally unsupported as well, aren't I? At yeah, least if he yeah. goes for the surf and fails, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. then then I can yeah. actually score. So um, yeah, boom, boom. it's tough. It's really tough. And the one good thing during all this was that he had no scoring threat. Right, he'd not hung out anything last turn. Yeah, yeah, it's a good Which, point. Which, yeah, I'm not sure whether it's a mistake or not, right? Like, there's, you know, there's a lot to be said for committing everyone to the defence. Like, he committed everyone to the defence and you still scored, right? So it's kind of hard to argue that he should have had less people defending. Yeah, yeah. So here, um, you, Art says you don't see the final uh, action of the game, so we can talk about what happened. Oh, oh. <laughs> because really? we might not see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, the replays, you mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's I a... call this one instantly, by the way. <laughs> oh, good. It's a good. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's done. Um, yeah, he's done. He has done a good job, right? He's got he's got three yep, yep, in a row yep. there. He's got he's got you know all the way out here. So like, there's not just a blitz this guy and run around and score. This guy was out with you know he was a lineman. He's not in range any. Like if this had been a blitzer here, one two three four five. Okay, so if it'd been a blitzer stood here, I probably should have tried to get a blitzer out there. You know, so I would have yeah, had a handoff range, option. Yeah. I probably should have done. Yeah. That was uh, that Dio, was a... Dio loves a, a handoff guy hanging around. Yeah, I love it as well. Yeah, it was the only way I can mm-hmm. like ever score against K Fog with dwarves. You know, like <laughs> pretty oh, <really>? much. <laughs> it's uh, it's just essential to do. So like I had that in my arsenal and just you know, yeah. I, I guess I panicked. It was hard, man. It was uh, it was a good defense oh, yeah. and you know yeah, not yeah. that many players, but they are mobile, aren't they? And you know if he rolls yeah. all the three pluses, he gets in the way. It was not easy at all, uh, but this was quite easy. So yeah, blitz with blitz with a player. I did pause for a second to see if I could get three dice, but I couldn't, obviously. Um, blitz him, power him to here, push the gutter, and then we've got the move up to there. Four plus uh, jump and a three plus dodge. And then it's very fancy. That's uh, easy. Uh, sorry, I've got, I've got to read from the script here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hellboy, Hellboy told me here, he said... It's fancier to leap over a prone player. So there you go. Ignore the fact that a 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus is worse than the 4 plus 3 plus. It was fancier. So there you go. What? I, I okay. don't know what his, <laughs> why that's a thing, but that's what Hellboy asked, so that's what I said. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. What? So am I. But there you go. That, that, that's, that's what he wanted me to say, so I've said it for him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it. But you it. didn't do a 2 plus. No, no, that's what I guess. I guess like that was an option, right? I could have powered him, and I could have done a four-three-two. I could oh. have done a four-three-two, but the reason that I didn't wasn't because it was better odds. It was because it was fancier. I don't know. He's got a big thing about it being fancy to jump over. Oh, I am confused. I know. So am I. I was confused okay. as well. He wanted me okay. to say it. I said it. I've done my duty. Okay. 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 Uh, but yeah, just to, and so it was good though. It was good. I mean, I'm happy that you spotted it as well. Because I'm happy that I spotted it because, you know, yeah, it, nice, it, nice. it's, I guess this is the time you're most likely to spot it, right? When it's a scoring chance. Do you know yeah, what I mean? To be yeah. fair, this is the, it's a bit of a cop out because this is the easiest time to, to spot it. But, you know, I remember you playing against Gdanik and like you did a jump over the LOS to like hit the ball and stuff. And it's like, I like that, you know, it's, it's good that you can do that yeah. sort of thing that like comes out of nowhere so almost. Yeah. Right? There, was, yeah. there was a one where... In the other game, where Orelensis might have been able to have jumped over and hit the ball, but like he was out of range. But it's one of those things where you think that they can't, but actually, actually, they could have done. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I needed the power anyway. I need, I needed the power. This yeah. Hit. And got the power, and we still got two re rolls. So obviously, I'm fully committed into using both re rolls on this scoring attempt. <laughs> yeah. And then I wasn't going to. I moved these two in to make the hit, and then I thought, oh, wait a minute. I can't because, you know, it's the last turn. But then I thought, no, I have to because if I fail, it's over time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I nearly didn't do the hit, and then I realised I've got two. And you do see the last action. There you go, look. He does the leap. It looks amazing. <laughs> oh, and then you don't see the last dice roll. Oh. So you see me roll a one. 
that's hilarious. <laughs> well, that's it, folks. It's uh, it was a draw. <laughs> that's, that's amazing, isn't it? That is amazing. So, um, yeah. I rolled a one on the dodge, <laughs> but then I re-rolled it, and it was a succeed. <laughs> Liar. Yeah. It was a draw. Yeah. And then continue doesn't do doesn't change anything. Um, you click the re-roll button. Oh, no, press play. Uh, oh. No. Oh. <laughs> no, no, there's nothing. Oh, no. Now press space. No, no. I mean, I was clicking, but space doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe it's go back. And then, and then play. Ooh. We might see it. Jump. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so the best thing is, the best thing is, right, if this was in overtime, you wouldn't know if this, if this re-roll was passed or failed, and, or whether one of us won on kicks. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, I could have, yeah. I could have failed this and then, won, yeah. uh, and then won on kicks, or I could yeah. have passed it and scored, and you would just never know. So yeah, the, anyway, the, the the replay doesn't show the last uh, <laughs> the last dice roll thing, but I did re-roll it and I did get the three plus. And got the two one win. So yeah, honestly, it was. I thought it was a good defense by him, obviously, but a bad offense, right? Like he scored in three turns, and and basically chose to, right? He had he had fourteen players for his offense, and I I get you know he kind of trapped himself into that quick score, didn't it? And yeah, as you said, one more turn, I'm not scoring back, and then it goes to overtime, and he, you know he's got half a chance, hasn't he? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've absolutely got more, more than half. Yeah. Yeah, more more than half probably. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I mean, not, not like I'm not saying he's more than half likely to win the game. Yeah, more than yeah. half a chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so there you go. So that was it. Yeah, I thought it was a good game, and I thought I thought we both played pretty well. Although I made I made a, a the bad cage, and then obviously the sideline uh, cage ended up being it was very dodgy, wasn't it? But I thought it was a hard turn. I thought it was a hard turn. Yeah, and, yeah. and to be fair, there was no chance of the counter score. And 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 honestly, thinking about there being no chance of the counter score is why I thought, well, okay, this is a bit risky. But if he does surf the ball, I've got it. I've got another runner in reserve. So the over doesn't matter for the overtime if he kills my if he kills my runner on the surf, and he can't possibly score. So I, I didn't think getting surf was that bad. Um, not that I not I, I totally forgot by the way that he had that he had a gutter runner and a snotling yeah. and a goblin, but I just thought you know just on a generic thing you know if he does yeah. it like a six plus dodge in you know that can still happen right so uh, yeah sure yeah thanks Dwyer uh, and uh, thanks Elliot for joining me in the booth no yeah. always sorry I had my my COVID jab today so. I Starting to feel really tight. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why all the yawn. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Thank you very much, Elliot. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.